Like I'm pretty sure I'm like responsible for a lot of people getting pregnant. I'm Nicole. And today we're doing some live shooting and I'm talking about posing and directing and getting gross and licking your lens and trying to make everybody else be gross just like me. First, I'm gonna have the models introduce themselves very loudly because it's so important when you pose people to use their names. So, I'll have you guys introduce yourselves. For me, I find sensory points are something that I, not enough people focus on. Um, because it can be intimidating to like get people to like pose with that. Even something as simple as like talk in their ear and say something like all the way down their neck. It doesn't have to be kisses. It can be like talk in the ear and talk down their neck. Then they're gonna do those cute like shoulder poses and like laughing and whatnot. So sensory points I really love. I'm really big on posing hands. I find that usually people like people will get like a scenery like this and love it. But then see, even stop right here. Just look at this like hand, right? Cause she was focused, right? And you guys were probably like, this looks so good. But then you have a claw. So it's way better if she's like, babe, and like tucking her hair while she's looking at her. So like actually do a hair tuck while you look at her. Just doing something simple like that. And then if you come over here and get this perspective, delicious. Or if you don't know what to do with their hands, if you don't want to do a hair tuck, playing with hair is like such an easy thing. You get them playing with their clothes, like their strap, or putting their hand in their pocket, playing with anything. You just don't want to <laughs> So making sure that you move your feet, getting different perspectives. I like to play with slow shutter a lot. So if you guys haven't done that and you want to know how to do that, I can help with that. What I would do is I would instruct, say I want to get a running shot and then like epic mountains behind. So I'll have you both looking at each other and like running about this speed. Like you're not running fast, but because of your slow shutter, it'll look like they're going faster than they are. But right when I tell you to, I want you to flick a bunch of your hair. Because the more like movement you can get, the better. Whip your hair. Whip, 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 whip. So it sounds insane, but it should give you kind of like dreaminess in the dress and in the hair. Keep them pretty still. I just want to show them just the movement, like mostly in your hair. So I'll count to three. Okay, and one, two, three, go. Keep whipping. Don't move your body, just your head. Faster, 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 faster. And then kiss. Faster, perfect. Are you guys having fun so far? Yeah. Good, good, okay. So I am very directive when I pose clients and I talk a lot about like body parts and like where I put hands and all of that good stuff and my keynote's all about posing. So anything that I talk about here, I'm gonna go way more in depth later. So even though they're experienced models, I wanna show you how I would pose people uh, if they didn't know what to do with their body parts because I think that's way more helpful than just the portfolio. I'm gonna have the two of you just go a little bit closer to the water. Usually when you're starting off with your clients, they don't know what to do with their bodies unless they have been in front of a camera before, but always assume that they haven't. Normally clients, like they might like hug a bit or whatnot, but I'm just gonna show you exactly what I would do. So even here, I would have them tilt out slightly more towards you because you don't want to lose their faces. And then, Melly, I'm going to have you put your uh, arm across her chest and then I'll have you hold up, Jess. But even from there, I always focus on three things, head, hands, heart. So when I say head, I actually mean like the positioning of their heads. Hands, a lot of people don't pose hands and that's where photos can start looking really awkward. And heart, I mean the emotion behind it. So sometimes people will have a beautiful epic scenery and they'll get them into like an okay pose and just stop there. I want you guys to focus on getting more dynamic than that. So even from here, another thing I find a lot of people don't pose is shoulders. Yep, perfect. And just kind of looking at everyone, have your shoulder really, really back. And now kind of curl it forward and bring your chin to your shoulder. See how that just totally changed the look. The back looked great too. It's just a different kind of pose, different kind of storytelling. But just having the simple, like putting a shoulder forward or even if someone's facing you, I would always have one shoulder up higher. Just that angle just kind of gives more storytelling to the image. While they do that, I'm gonna have you guys like lightly playing with each other's hands. So go back and forth from her shoulder to her neck, keeping them moving. And then what I do is I literally move around. So I'll go, uh, down low, I'll get high, I'll like circle, get different angles. I also bring in ducks, get that duck behind them. 
That's my top package. You can't afford it. And then even here, I just want to show you a little bit more about sensory points. So I'll have the two of you facing each other now. Some, like I just don't see people utilizing sensory points enough. Um, and I, I always see the safe on the shoulders, hands, anything like that. When you can get into each other's ears, into the jawline. But it's like, it's nice because if you can give them a good experience and it feels like that and it's not a lot of like work, they have a good time and then they walk away with like interesting, fun photos. While we have some sun, has anyone not ever played with like licking on their lens? Or like, no? So I'll show you what I mean. Usually if I am backlighting clients and I have um, a really good sun, I like to literally go like that and like I'll put a streak just where I want the sun streak to be. And I'll bring up a photo so you guys can see, but I want you guys to all try doing this. Be gross with me, lick your lens. It should give you like a streaky like look oh, like that. Really oh, cool. Wow. Yeah, so that's just my spit. Um, you can do it too. Okay. Yes. If you ever feel like you need a minute and uh, you're running out of poses or you're kind of like getting stagnant, I like to get clients to walk away from me or walk to me. Not only does it give you like different poses and kind of gives you that like mental break of not having to instruct them because they're right in front of you, it gives them a break too, which is nice. Um, and another thing I like to do with uh, getting movement, if you need that separation and you need clients to walk away from you or uh, walk to you, don't just get the walking back and forth. Something I love to do, I'll have you both acting like you're walking kind of like up this hill. It's a really cool thing to give clients the perspective of each other looking at each other. So I'll actually go and take my camera and like hover, hover over the shoulder and get like Jess's reaction looking at her because as much as like she's gonna pose good for me and give me a cool look there's she's not gonna look at anyone the way she's gonna look at her so you're gonna get that like really beautiful emotion that way and then I'll actually switch sides and get her looking at her so I challenge you to do that with all of your couples because you'll really love not only is the perspective the perspective is cool but they'll really love that photo because that's like gonna be their most genuine, most like authentic face and smile looking at their partner. But if you get them like a walking shot, try to get them actually walking because it'll give you more like range of like moments you can get. Does anyone need help with camera settings or anything like that? Because if you do, just let me know. Uh, no questions or bad questions. They can go to my Instagram, it's at Nicole Ashley, or you can email me, it's hello at NicoleAshley.ca. Uh, I guess my website, uh, I should talk about that. Uh, it's www.nicoleashley.ca. It's a beautiful website by Focal. Thanks so much. Bye. And if you're a wedding photographer looking for a website, check out Focal. You just send them a few photos and they just build an entire website for you. And it's wonderful and amazing. Nicole's website was built by Focal and my website was built by Focal. So come on through in the link in the description if you're interested.